Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk. Don't steal milk from a cow. We vegan start right now. Follow that vegan teacher. She will show you how. You gotta be brave, be vegan. You know it's your duty to do. Welcome to Vegan School. I am Miss Katie, the Vegan Teacher. I worked as a nurse for 25 years and as an English teacher for nine years before coming on social media full time to try to make the world a better place because of the damage I caused in the past by eating, wearing, and using animals and their secretions for most of my life. I'm here now for one reason only, to try to convince you to learn the truth so you don't make the same mistake I did by waiting too long to change. I want to convince you to have the courage to watch the important documentaries such as Dominion, Earthlings, Cowspiracy, Seaspiracy, Forks Over Knives, and many others. To study the work of Gary L. Francione and then to listen to your heart to see for yourself if you are an evil person or a good person based on the kinds of purchases you make going forward. What we're going to be looking at today is some of the songs that I have written, I have composed, and I perform over on TikTok. And one of them is called TikTok Should Be Vegan. Only vegan food should be allowed on screen. The reason I'm saying that is because vegan animal rights activists are consistently banned from that platform, and it's actually morally wrong to do so. When vegan animal rights activists are banned, the animals suffer terribly because there is no one to speak out on their behalf. Have a listen to the little song. Hashtag TikTok should be vegan Only vegan foods allowed on screen TikTok should be vegan No more animals being cooked on screen TikTok, please don't be mean So yes, that is me with my middle finger up. What kind of society would ban showing the Holocaust-like footage of factory farms from around the world, but at the same time allow the dead bodies of these murdered individuals to be put on grills and in frying pans to be viewed by all? What kind of a society would ban a nurse, teacher, grandmother from teaching kids to eat healthy veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds, legumes, and other whole foods, but would allow videos from chefs and others who display the dead bodies of innocent chickens, Cows, pigs, turkeys, fish, lambs, lobsters, rabbits, and other animals, as if they are mere objects. Answer, an evil society that does not care about the victims, the animals, who suffer by the trillions each year, just because people like you like the way they taste. So what can you do to help? Change. Become vegan. Speak out as if you yourself or someone you love was the victim. Hashtag TikTok should be vegan Only vegan foods allowed on screen TikTok should be vegan No more animals being cooked on screen TikTok, please don't be mean Vegans believe that animals should not be bought and sold as commodities. Nobody should be manipulating or paying for animals to be created or bred. Animals are just not objects. Their mothers should not be raped to create them. Vegans believe that animals are here with us on the planet, not for us. Merry Christmas! Holy fucking ta-da! Becoming vegan is like fucking digital Santa. Everyone you trusted was lying to you and your parents get mad just for telling them something that's true. Let's listen to that again. Merry Christmas! 
Everything's set up Becoming famous like working in the Santa Everyone you trusted was lying to you And your friends get mad Just for telling them something That's true Okay, so I know it sucks when you first learn that Santa doesn't exist. You trusted your parents and then you realized that they lied to you this whole time. And so did your teachers and everyone else. And now you wonder, what else are they lying to me about? Well, first, you have to ask yourself this. What are they lying to themselves about? The truth is that most adults today are no smarter, ethical, or braver than most kids. Most adults are too afraid to learn the truth about how horrible factory farming is, so they do everything in their power to hide the truth from themselves, and also from you too. Most adults pretend to be weak and say that they can't control themselves when it comes to food, so they treat animals like objects by paying people to murder them, just because they like the way they taste. Sadly, most adults are animal abusers. They pay for the rape torture, enslavement, and murder of pigs, chickens, cows, and other animals every time they put meat, eggs, and cow milk in their shopping carts. But you, you don't have to be like them. You can be better than your parents, your teachers, and everyone around you. You can be vegan from now on. For help, learn from HowDoIGoVegan.com. Go to howdoigovegan.com, sing it with me. Howdoigovegan.com, sing it again. Howdoigovegan.com, sing it with me. Howdoigovegan.com. Veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds, put them in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate, so be vegan. Wrong. Don't be a carnist bully. Be vegan fantastic from now on. Vegan phobia is real. Vegan phobia is wrong. Don't be a carnist bully. Be vegan fantastic from now on. Oh. First of all, no, you're not oppressed, so vegan phobia does not exist. Ethical vegan children, parents, and seniors are bullied constantly. The very fact that you made a video trying to pretend they aren't is proof that you have no understanding of the facts. Ethical vegan kids are often afraid to come out of the closet. They are afraid to publicly defend animals, afraid to be their true, authentic selves because of bullies like you. Gay teens can be told by some parents, oh, come on, just try harder not to be gay. Ethical vegan kids are physically forced by parents to eat dead animals, or they risk getting slapped, hit, punched, or thrown out of the house. Ethical vegans, true vegans, endure endless jokes about bacon. Cruel people talk about how fun it is to murder animals in front of them. They wave dead animal body parts in their faces. This happens at school, in the workplace, and in senior homes. One day, vegan phobia will be illegal, just like homophobia is now. Stand with us. Speak out against vegan phobia. Say what? Vegan phobia is real. Vegan phobia is wrong. Don't be a carnist bully. Be vegan fantastic from now on. Vegan phobia is real. Vegan phobia is wrong. Don't be a carnist bully. Be vegan fantastic from now on. Oh. Traditionally, the word racist has applied only to humans, but I'm extending that meaning to help you better understand the concept of discrimination. If you are in any kind of minority group who is oppressed, you should be vegan. Remember that being vegan isn't about food. It's about not being mean to animals. If you know that oppression is wrong, then it's pretty simple. Don't oppress others. 
just because they look different than you. Animals, like children, need to be protected from harm. They have a right to live and not be cut up into pieces and put in grocery stores. If you are against pinning someone down and doing things to their body without consent, then you should understand why you need to be vegan. Don't discriminate against animals or those who protect them. Don't be mean. Don't be vegan phobic. Be a friend to animal defenders. Be vegan fantastic. Your homework is to learn from this documentary. You just type into your search engine, watchdominion.com, watchdominion.com. Type it in and watch the documentary. Take notes, write down the names of each animal that you see and what humans do to them in the industry. And then help us end the cruelty by being vegan from now on. Right now.